DGs. Now, I've already got the deets. I know who that these this is this is the Foo Fighters. But they called themselves the DGs. Now, I I, I, I got to know why they called themselves the DGs. Um when covering BG songs. And y'all know this is probably my favorite BG song. Y'all know that. This is probably my favorite. I don't even think it's probable. Either this or the, um uh whatchamacallit, um uh staying alive. But hold on. It won't let me Hail Satan. Is that the name? Okay, hold on. Let me see something. Hail Satan is an album by the DGs, an A-side project of American rock band Foo, uh, Foo Fighters. It was released on July 17, 2021 for Record Store Day. The album consists of five cover versions of songs originally written and recorded by members of the Gibb family, four from the Bee Gees and one Andy Gibb solo record. And five live versions of the song of songs from the Foo Fighters album, Medicine at Midnight, on its B side. The name DGs is a play on both the BGs and David Grohl's initials. The album title is a play on Satan, a common fa uh, fra uh, bleh, fabric of the disco era, and the phrase "Hell Satan." Gotcha. So it's a play on David and the Bee Gees. Gotcha. Um, look, <laughs> I gotta hear this. If you're gonna cover the Bee Gees, you should be dancing. And I, I, I just instantly, the second I hear the Foo Fighters, I just think heavy, heavy metal, rock and roll. You should be dancing as disco. Now, they kind of in the same world. I mean, you could, there's a few, I mean, obviously, I've been reacting to recently, you know, um, uh, Wild Cherry, and, you know, like, you could kind of hear some rock and disco and vice versa, but, you know, uh, um, what's the Kiss song? I was made for loving you, baby. You know, it's some, it's some songs that got some disco and rock flavor together but I just I gotta hear this I gotta hear this I can't even wait I gotta hear this Now y'all not even y'all not about to look me in my face. That's why I turned around. I don't even want y'all to look me in my face. Y'all not about to look me in my face and tell me that is Dave singing those vocals. Are you kidding me, bro? And rest in peace to Taylor Hawkins. I see him back there on drums. Rest in peace. You are not about to look me in my face and tell me that's Dave on them damn vocals. Are you serious, bro? Yo, like his range. Bro, what?
Yo, I cannot believe. Yo, this is fire. I appreciate that they stay true to the original record. And, like, they didn't add, like, they didn't, they really didn't change anything. They just added, but they didn't change anything. I really like that. This is fire. Wow. I can't believe they did. Oh my goodness, bro. That was so fire. What you doing on your back in the back? Yeah. What you doing on your back in the back? Oh, man. What inspired them to do that? Like, what inspired them to, to make, a, like, a whole album? Foo Fighters previously performed Andy Gibbs' 1978 song Shadow Dancing during Linda Perry's Rock and Relief live, live stream and the Bee Gees' You Should Be Dancing on Joe Wiley's Sofa Session show on BBC Radio 2. Dave said about the recording of You Should Be Dancing, I have never ever in my life sung like that. But it was the easiest song I have ever sung in my entire life. Wow. This was the easiest song? I sang the song and it was like six minutes and I was done. I should have been singing like this for the last 25 years. You should have. You should have. If you could sing, if you could do that, I mean, <laughs> I mean, if Dave could do that, he should have been singing lead for Nirvana. I mean, <laughs> I mean, what are we talking about? Bro. Again, my favorite part about it is the fact that they stay true to the original. It really didn't change anything. They just added. And I really appreciate that because far too often when people do covers, they want to put their own spin to it and do this extra stuff and kind of ruin the essence of the original song. They did not do that at all. They literally they stayed true to it completely. And again, just added 
and I really liked it. I did not know Dave could sing like that. The instrumentation was phenomenal. I really like that, man. I wish more I wish more artists. You know, you recently had um Silk Sonic, which was Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack. They made a concept album um on seventies uh soul and funk music, right? I really wish a lot of artists not necessarily concept albums, but but you know what I mean? Just just get back to that sound. You know, show homage, pay homage to, to the previous generations and, and, and music that, that really paved the way for them today. Um, I mean, did I see the Foo Fighters and BGs? No. But, I mean, that's the beauty of it all. That is the beauty of it all. You wouldn't really know until you gave it a shot. So, I really enjoyed this. I really appreciate this. Again, this is probably my favorite BG song. And so to hear somebody else do it and add a little something to it, I really appreciated it. So they got four of the songs, four other BG songs that they covered on this album. So if I should check them out, y'all let me know. And I definitely will. But I mean, yeah, y'all let me know. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, with the DGs. <laughs> Peace.